It's another Physical Tuesday where we learn how to get bigger, faster, stronger. Stop preparing like a joke, man, and become the GOAT man. Go gang! Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment to our content. We are here to help you. Turn from cheese to the macaroni and cheese, man. In terms of football drills, the Oklahoma drill is where boys become men. This is a simple drill, but there are a couple points that I'll have to go into in this video to make sure that you're ready for this drill. And the first point is we have to understand the mindset going into tackling. You can't go in there wishy-washy, man. Like what the Migos say, these be wishy-washy. No, man, you gotta really have your mind together. You gotta know like, man, I'm gonna get this person down on the ground. I'm not gonna try to hit his thigh and hopefully he flips over. No, I'm hitting. And that's the point. You gotta make sure that you're dialed in mentally because that is the precedent for everything. Also, you have to you have to just make sure that your mind doesn't think about anything else. Because once you start thinking about, oh, he has three thigh pads in, you're going to get trapped. So go in there thinking about getting this guy down on the ground. And it's just that simple. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. The second point we're going to go into is we have to understand that speed is important. Think of an avalanche. When a snowball is rolling down a hill and it gains that momentum and becomes bigger and bigger, it's that much more dangerous when the person gets hit by that snowball or avalanche. Same thing when you are hitting a person in the Oklahoma drill. If you're coming fast and you got some weight to you, you got some strength to you, you're going to bang that person. You're going to give them everything that they're asking for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But sometimes it's tougher for guys that are a little littler because we don't they, they don't pack that that punch they don't pack that they don't have that the weight and strength to them but they have the speed but also there's also big guys who are in the oklahoma drills that they're not that fast but they're very strong and they don't really they don't really pack that punch like they're supposed to so you got to understand it's a mixture of speed and strength matter of fact copy this equation down speed plus strength equals hard hits also this is what i want you to do check this out Come here for a minute. What? Fuck you mean what? Come here, Jimmy. Talk to you about something. Pause this video. Comment under the video and tell me if there was a moment where you got trucked in Oklahoma. What was the reason why you got trucked? Do you feel like you weren't strong enough or do you feel like you weren't moving fast enough? Comment below. So no, do it right now. The third part in the video is we have to understand leverage and getting under them folks. It's that simple. So when you're in the Oklahoma drills, you want to get low and close and close. This is very important because if you're not lower than a defender, sometimes it's a lot easier to get trucked. Pay attention. Anytime you see somebody trucked in the Oklahoma drill or in an actual game, they're getting trucked because they're not low enough. Their leverage is too high. They're opening up their chest. You're opening yourself up to get trucked, man. Like it's that simple. So make sure that you're getting low and you're closing. You should be bent at the knees, I mean bent at the hips, and then diving in close. It's that simple. Second of all, you also have to understand why leverage is important. Leverage is important because it helps you get under the under that player and really drive through and explode through that person. A lot of tackling is exploding through the person. A lot of times you see tacklers now they're just trying to arm tackle grab and throw you no 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 you're going to face a running back or you're going to face a player later in life where you got to put a body on them and that's how they drop you got to put a body on the other player it's that simple all this arm tackling all this hugging hugging you know that that's not gonna work come on baby get it together and the final point in this video we have to understand how to wrap this fool up man that's simple, man. Wrap this fool up in the paper. So think about it. This is putting a bow on a present of a tackle. A lot of times people just, that they see the wrapping up and the throw and they think that's cool. Like that's not cool. That's not how you get a person on the ground. You could you could do everything else perfect and not wrap this person up and get them on the ground. And then you're, all your work was for nothing. So right here, I'm gonna teach you exactly what to do. So after, after you have initiated contact, 
literally hold on for dear life. This is where you want to grab the person, basically squeeze them, um, uh, and then take your body down with them. Also, a lot of times people get get caught up in and throwing them and trying to just grab jerseys. No, make sure you are putting that body on them and you are wrapping up, exploding your arms through the person and hugging them tight, taking them to the ground. That's how you wrap them, take them to the ground. We don't want we don't want all that hugging and all that that shirt grabbing. That's not cute. I'm gonna be honest with that. Mm -hmm. I don't rock like that. <laughs> Make sure you get this player down. It's that simple. Check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green or real on that field or extort on that court. The no baller left behind that supports this video. You feel me?